Hi guys, I'm going to use this video to show you installing Linux on your machine without rebooting your system, burning a CD, partitioning your hard drive and worrying about uh, it messing up your system basically. And I'm going to use this uh, with the power of virtual machines. Now I've said this so many times in my um, videos previously, but I'm going to do it again, but this time showing you something that you can install for free. So I've got an, an installation, uh, well, an ISO image of Ubuntu, which you can download for free from the internet. I'll provide the link to this in the description. And I'm going to use VirtualBox um, to show you how to install it, so you can basically test out Linux. So I'm going to double click this, and I'm going to install VirtualBox. So I'm going to say next, accept, next. I'm going to install everything, next, install. So it's now installing the virtual machine program to actually run these virtual machines. Now I've had people telling me they've had problems, I've had people telling me that um, they don't know what a virtual machine is. So I'm just going to continue this. It's best to see it in action just to show you it. So finished. I'm now going to go into the virtual box program. So we're now opening the virtual box program. Uh, it's asking me to register, so I'm just going to say A. My name is A and I'm A at A.com. Confirm. Congratulations, I've registered. <laughs> there we go. So, uh, VirtualBox main program. I'm going to say new. Uh, it's going to say new virtual machine. So we're going to make a new PC in my PC. I'm going to call it Ubuntu. And the OS type is going to be Linux 2.6. Now you can do this yourself. Just follow along. You may want to rewind a little bit if I'm going a bit too fast. It's just to fit everything in 10 minutes. So, the recommended base memory is 256 megabytes. I'm going to increase this a bit because I've got some to waste. Because it's going to use your RAM. So I'm going to use 730. So I'm going to say next. It says there's no hard disk at the moment. We need to make one. So I'm going to say new. It says create new virtual hard disk. Next. A dynamically expanding image. Now all that means is that there's going to be a file on your hard drive that's going to gradually get bigger the more space you use inside your virtual machine. So I'm going to say next. I'm going to call the image file Ubuntu. Um, I'll put it as Ubuntu Linux or something. And uh, the image size at the moment is going to be 8 gigabytes. So next and finish. So um, this is our new hard disk we're going to use. I'm just going to say next. And we're pretty much done. The name's Ubuntu. OS type is Linux 2.6. My RAM is 734 megabytes inside the machine, which is going to use from mine. And the hard disk is going to be a file on my, hard, on my disk, uh, which is 8 gigabytes large. And it's going to use it inside the virtual machine. So I'm going to say finish. And uh, that's all you need to do in terms of making the virtual machine. And then all you need to do is start. And it's going to start it as if it was um, starting the PC, as if you press the on button. So it says you have the auto capture keyboard option. So whenever I go into this um, virtual machine, my keyboard is going to be using the keyboard inside the virtual machine. So that we don't need to worry about, because um, that's going to happen anyway. To let go of it, you just use the right control as it says down here, right control. You just press the right control key, and you'll come out of it. So this is the first run wizard. I'm going to go next. Uh, it says select installation media. Now you can use your actual CD drive to install something, or you can use an image file, which I'll be showing you, or you can use a floppy. Um, uh, so the image file is this ISO thing that I downloaded. So there's nothing in the virtual disk manager. I'm just going to add desktop my Ubuntu ISO image, and that's it. It's now got the virtual disk, virtual CD inside the virtual machine. So I'm just going to press select, next, finish, and it's now going to start the machine. So we start the machine. And it says uh, blah blah blah, so optimize to work in 32 bit, but we're going to use 16 bit, that doesn't matter at the moment. So um, I'm now clicking inside, and it says you have clicked the mouse, that means it's going to capture the mouse as well. So it's going to use both the keyboard and the mouse inside the virtual machine. Um, now I'm just going to start or install Ubuntu. So I've just pressed right control to come out of it so I can move the screen recorder around because when I click inside, I can't control the screen recorder because the mouse is inside the PC. So as you can see, it's now booting up. Ubuntu, the live version that's on the CD. Now you may know if you put a CD in your drive, this, this Ubuntu, it will run a live version so you can check it out and then you can install it. But what we're actually going to do is we're actually going to install it. So it just makes it a lot easier. Now you notice it's loading a lot faster than it would do if you put your CD in. That's because it's running off a file on my hard drive and not a CD in my CD drive. So um, the read and write speeds are faster. So it's now booting into Ubuntu. So all we're going to do is, once it's loaded, we're going to click Install. So you'll notice that it's reading off the CD here. It's also reading off a network, because you can actually connect to the internet, because it uses your connection through the network. 
and the uh, hard disk. So I'm just going to click on this install. Now you can't see because the thing isn't following me, which is quite annoying. But I've just clicked install. Uh, it says live session user up here, but that, that doesn't matter. So this is the install box, ready to install. We're just going to answer a few questions. This is asking me for the language. I'm going to press forwards. And uh, the time zone is New York, that's fine. And uh, US English is the keyboard. I'm not really bothered about the settings for the time being. So it's now setting up the partition. Now it's saying guided, use entire disk. That's what we want it to do. So I'm saying forwards. And it's um, making the new partitions for me. And what is my name? Now I need to remember this because my last one didn't do it. So I'm, I'm Duncan. Um, no, can't spell my own name. Duncan. Um, my uh, name is Duncan and my password is going to be Poo. So I've got to remember that my uh, username is Duncan and my password is Poo. So I'm just going to go forwards and install. And that's pretty much all you need to do because you now set it up to install on your virtual hard disk. It's going to format your hard disk and it's going to install Ubuntu onto it. Now you can see that it's working quite hard between the uh, CD and the hard drive. Uh, these are basically the same things as you find lights on your PC. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's, it's up to 22% already. It will also scan a mirror or something which will use your uh, network. And you can see there's some stuff happening here, but we're not bothered about that. So it's just going to install Linux, uh, install Ubuntu for me. And um, uh, I'm then going to uh, come back into this when this has reached 100%. So uh, I'll be back in a second. Hey guys, we're back, and you can see that the installation is now complete. So I can now restart the system and it's uh, very quickly restarting so you can see that it's um, fairly easy to use um, to install and get it un up and running uh, saying please remove the disk and close the tray so I'm just going to right click the CD down here and say unmount CD DVD ROM and press enter so it's now going to reboot the system so there we go uh, that's pretty much it I mean Ubuntu is now installed on the system and yeah, very easy to do, wasn't it? <laughs> All I had to do was uh, run for a, a wizard, make a disk, uh, mount the CD, and then run it. It's as simple as that, and you've got all the details you need down here. Now the audio is disabled by default. You can enable that if you want, and you can have music playing. Uh, the network by default is using the NAT, so it can connect to the internet using your connection. Uh, you've got other things here. You can share folders, so you can put folders in your PC, on your PC, and then share it with whatever's in here. So um, uh, anyway, Ubuntu has now started. My username was uh, Duncan, wasn't it? And my password was Poo. So you can now see that I'm inside Ubuntu, and I hadn't, I didn't need to burn a CD. I didn't need to restart my computer, and I can now test out uh, Linux to see what it's like, see if I like it. And it's got full internet access as well, as it's using my internet access. So if I just load up Firefox. Now I haven't tried this but I'm going to try and install the uh, additions thing in a second so I'm just going to load up Google. You can um, see that it's already connected to the internet and it says uh, software updates available, click on the notifi notification so you can see it's loaded up Google so I've got full internet access as well. So um, I'm just going to try and install, you can go to devices and then install guest additions. Now I'm not sure how this works because I previously used VMware, uh, yes you have to run something else. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure which one this is uh, because I haven't really used it. I don't think EXE would work, no. So um, I'm sure there's a guide somewhere on how to install the VirtualBox additions because what that enables you to do is uh, run your mouse um, over the box and it will capture it inside it rather than um, keeping it inside it. Because if you keep it inside it and move your box to the edge, you can't move it out of the application without releasing it using the control button. So um, when you click in, you're clicked into this uh, PC until you release it with this right control. But anyway, that is how to get a Ubuntu running on a virtual machine. And you can do this now, right now. You can just go and download Ubuntu, download a VirtualBox, and you'll be up and running in no time. Just follow my video, watch it twice if you need to. And um, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And uh, thanks again.